good morning or afternoon. It is Sunday here in the States, and I know it's Sunday because there's no noise in my neighborhood. Typically, even on weekdays, you'll hear lawnmowers, leaf blowers, but today it's beautiful silence at this hour. So, I get to record. And in lieu of Sunday, you know, I was, we got this uh, audio submission in today, or yesterday, from Rose's 311 Sublime on the app on Pros. Um, I was immediately thrown back to, to oddly enough, my mother. She was a Roman Catholic and she read the Bible. Me, um, around the, around grade three, I just didn't believe in anything. Once I found out there was no Santa Claus, I pretty much figured it was all out the window. And we were comprised of dead stars, right? Which I think is really cool. But as you get older, you open your mind up to other things. I haven't fully embraced a philosophy of life and death, really. Um, My mom, even being the devout Catholic she was always said make up your own mind right and I, I, I want to I really appreciated that didn't force anything upon her children and so that all out of the way right I think that faith is beautiful if you have it I'm not a person of faith but I do like surprises and I am open I believe I don't know anything and so I look back to even when I was in in Rome, right? I walked up the Spanish steps. I paid my euro, lit a vigil, and I I prayed with the Romans and the other tourists. Not because I have that kind of fear or faith, but because it was just, it was respectful. And I like to respect somebody else's way of life if I'm in somebody else's way of life, right? So... When we thought of pros, we wanted it to be for everybody. I don't care if you're a, if you're a, if you love no God, if you love one God, this God, all the, whatever. If you believe, uh, we didn't, we opened our doors to everybody in the app. And I just think creative writing is creative writing. And if somebody wants to bang their drum to their God, through a paragraph or through written words or through whatever, have at it. It's free. It's a free, it's a free experience on prose. And that was our goal. And to respect those people like me who, you know, I wouldn't call myself atheist or agnostic. I don't like any one of those words. Um, either of those words, but I would definitely call myself skeptical but open and I have dove deep into theology especially when my mom passed away I wanted answers and my answer for all of it all the all the texts I read was there is no answer and so for me there isn't for somebody else there's probably a great answer but for me I'm open and most importantly for people like me and you can watch them across the board. You can watch certain people who like scoff at religion or people who scoff at non-religion, right? But we're all humans. And I, and I, I want to say this too. I hope this isn't a long rant for you guys. I don't want to be preachy and all that bullshit. But I remember watching a video. It must have been, what was it? it was a podcast and I forgot who it was. But one guy was talking about how today, because everything's so absolute and the cancel culture and you can't say one wrong thing without getting ejected, right? Which is hilarious to me. And I, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's funny. But I remember, I remember when I was a kid, my, my, my dad and my neighbor next door, it was, I forgot which debate it was. It was, I mean, I was, it must've been. Reagan versus whoever, blah, 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 car, I don't know. But they're both going for different, different sides. It's like the, the Super Bowl, right? And, and they talked about over the fence. They, 
laughed about it. And then when, um, whoever, whoever guy won, they laughed about it. They shook hands and we'll get you next time. You know, let's back our president. <sighs> Old school. Right. And so I think today, the reason why I wanted to preface this, it's only like a minute and some seconds read of this guy recording and Mary Stevenson, I believe wrote it. And I remember footprints, right? Footprints in the sand. I remember, I remember among many things in my house, there were many things, Jesus in my house, the oil lamp, which I, I have loved to have one of those today and the, the oil paintings and, and also footprints was, was, um, hanging on a wall somewhere, somewhere around near my mom's common area. She liked to, to roam and dwell, dwell in. And, uh, so getting this today and deciding to run it, you know, I would hate for someone to think of prose as a religious app or a non-religious app, both. Uh, we want prose to be open to all levels of writing and all levels of faith or non-faith and all levels of language. You want to swear? Fucking go for it. You don't want to swear? Don't. You don't want to, you know, I don't know why that's a big deal. You know, when I was in Europe, people were having sex on countertops in commercials to like advertise just soap. But over here, you can't show a nipple. You can't drop the F-bomb. It's weird. It's like we're so trapped in the 50s, but yet we're supposed to be this. And that's not just us, by the way. It's a lot of places across the world. So, and that also goes back to religion, I believe. And maybe just decency, which I might be lacking. Maybe I always have, <laughs> have been, but I don't care. I don't give a shit. We are creators. And as creators, we must draw certain lines. But one line I believe we should never draw is who writes what? Who says what? If you don't like it, who cares? And if this one person, you know, who cares? If, one, if this one person wants to vote for this, this jackass or this jackass or this good person or this good person, let them. But the podcast talked about how your viewpoints now define your identity. And that to me is just sickening. It's sickening. So when it comes to all this, and a shout out to Roses 311 Sublime for sending me this, and also a shout out to my team. You know, we had a, we had a video come in from uh, one, of our, one of our writers, Led Levy, and he was by a water waterside reading these like, you know, these, what I consider normal writing poems with, you know, every, every word under the, every foul word under the sun intact in a poem, you know, in poems attached in a poem. I mean, and I thought it was great. I didn't know if I thought I got a text from my team going run that, you know, cause I wanted to run it. But, um, what the point is, is I'm really proud of the app on that level and on a lot of levels, but to embrace free speech, to embrace free speech and to support each other. And that's why we're here. And that's why I love this app. And as we get bigger and stronger and better, it's going to get bigger and stronger and better and more and more free. Right. I expect some cancellation here and there. I expect, um, but I also expect some really good results. And I don't know who said, who said it, but you can't please everybody. If you're trying to please everybody, if you please everybody, you're doing the wrong thing. I completely agree. And, but there are certain lines that we didn't want to draw with the app. We wanted everybody to feel welcome. And if you don't like a writer or you don't like what somebody stands for, whether it's this app or anything else, just ignore them. Don't listen to them. Don't feed the, don't feed the beast. If it's a beast to you, just let it go. And that's my opinion. So, and I happen to have, I've conversed with, with Roses 311 Sublime and nice guy, you know, and, and my, one of my very best friends in the world, he's like family, is a devout Christian. One of my very best friends in the world is a hardcore atheist and they're friends. You know what I mean? So, so, um, one faction is not the equation. Uh, 
it takes a lot to make an equation. And so one part of a person is not that person. Uh, I mean, proclivity wise, I don't mean like hurting people. I mean, you know, what you choose to dig. And um, I went a long time on this and I apologize. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut out and we're going to go to uh, Roses 311 Sublime and listen to Footprints. All right. Take good care. Footprints in the Sand, written by Mary Stevenson, read by Roses 311 Sublime. One night a man had a dream. He dreamed he was walking along the beach with the Lord. Across the sky flashed scenes from his life. For each scene, he noticed two sets of footprints in the sand. One belonged to him and the other to the Lord. When the last scene of his life flashed before him, he looked back at the footprints in the sand. He noticed that many times along the path of his life, there was only one set of footprints. He also noticed that it happened at the very lowest and saddest times in his life. This really bothered him, and he questioned the Lord about it. Lord, you said that once I decide to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I have noticed that during the most troublesome times in my life, there is only one set of footprints. I don't understand why when I needed you most, you would leave me. The Lord replied, My precious, precious child, I love you, and I would never leave you. During your times of trial and suffering, when you see only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. <laughs>